Here we are folks, I'm just reviewing um, some notes that one of our guys is making on surveys and we've, 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 you know, we've got a survey on the screen here, we're looking at um, uh, just what we do with this particular house and this is, this is the survey notebook and this is, this is um, interesting. Um, I might just show you what we look at and how this differs to most people. Um, we're looking at the most important thing here. We've got numbers everywhere. We've got loft. We've got percentages uh, and numbers. And I'll explain these briefly. But you know, these are the issues that he's picking up. But what he's got here in his notebook is a a set of numbers, and it says temperature, relative humidity in grams per cubic meter in water. Um, and this 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 book is fantastic. I've never seen anything done so carefully as this. But what you're looking at here is five grams per cubic meter five or six grams which is really really dry and this is a very dry house um, and what makes this all the more apparent is that a few days later he's done another survey and here we've got uh, a bunch of notes about the different rooms but just look at the difference in the numbers um, here you've got a difference of 10 10, 10, 9, 10. Relative humidities are sort of 50, 60. And if you compare that with the previous one, the relative humidity was even 73, 74, and down to 58. But the absolute, the grams per cubic meter of water in this house is fours and fives. So an incredibly dry house. And then you look at this house, and although the relative humidity is... Um, probably acceptable the temperature is much higher and the absolute humidity is way too high and this is telling us that we've got potential in this house for a lot of damp problems and Nick's just said to me yes that house has got an awful an awful lot of damp problems hang on he's pointing to me to the oh dear yes um, what have we got here 11.4 11.5 12 that Oh dear, 92% relative humidity, that's just disgusting. That's a wet house. Um, you, you can't be dealing with that. Um, so that just gives you... A, that's all I wanted to show you, the difference between a wet house and the readings that you get. You don't even need to look at the, at the walls. You don't need to use a damp meter. You're looking at relative humidity and you're looking at absolute and then as you go back to, I think this is, this is, if I can get the page to turn, this is probably one of the most, that's fantastic. That is, is, is a, a dry house. That is a survey on an absolutely bone dry house. Unbelievable. Um, and it's just, it's, this is a scientific way of doing a building survey. Um, and these are the sorts of readings we take. Forget your stupid damp meter look at the air look at the temperature look at the relative humidity and look at the absolute the the actual readings of temperature and and, and total moisture in the air that's it folks we'll do another one, little one of these shortly